We all know that dating can be a wonderful experience, but unfortunately, it can also be full of awkward, uncomfortable, and downright disastrous moments. In this video, we'll be sharing some of the worst date stories we've heard, from embarrassing mishaps to cringeworthy encounters. So sit back, relax, and get ready to hear some hilarious and horrifying tales of bad dates. Let's dive in. His apartment was filled with blood-stained pillowcases. Went back to his place, presumably for sex, and the pillowcases were stained with blood. Place was filled with empty beer cans. Four, I kid you not, for rusty, hair-filled razors in the shower, all were his, he lived alone. The sink was coated in hair and toothpaste. I was so disturbed. Then he told me he had a suspended license and a kid he never met, and I hightailed at home. I got to know a nice gal online for a few weeks before we decided to meet up for a hiking date. She only wanted to communicate through email or the dating site, which I thought was odd but just went with it. 30 minutes into our date I found out why, she's married and her husband is a jealous, gun-collecting hunter type who she's thinking about leaving. For 90 minutes I felt like a deer during hunting season on that hike. Every bush movement and twig snap I was sure was him. I met up with a guy at a bar. It was like pulling teeth to talk with him. I try to talk about travel, I don't see why anyone would ever want to leave the US. I try to talk about running, I don't know why people run for fun. Finally, he contributes something as says he likes cars. So I tell him about how my brother just purchased an Aston Martin. Aston Martins are shit. I really only like Camaros. I tell him I drove an old Camaro for 9 years, you don't know s about cars. I don't, not going to deny that, but really, all I said was that I drove a Camaro from age 16 to 25. Then, to top it off, he starts talking about no fap, and how he tried that but it just made him angry, so he followed strict, masturbate once every 3 days policy. He said it gave him sizable loads without affecting his mood. Check please, separate, duh. As we part ways, he tries to go in for a handshake. I jokingly ask if he masturbated today. He says yes. I ask if he washed his hands. He hesitates. I smile and say, bye, leaving his hand hanging out there. By the time I get home, he has deleted me from Tinder. Met up with a girl for the first time after talking for a few weeks. She is attractive, fun, lots of things in common. During the date she keeps checking her phone and acts annoyed by someone. Finally she apologizes for it and tells me about some creepo stalker dude that won't leave her alone. And I guess to prove it she calls him and Kinda loudly says stop con- FWD to end of date, she says she had a good time and wants to do it again sometime, Kinda flirty. Then outside before she gets in her car she goes in for a long passionate kiss. Then says call- so I call a couple days later. No answer. Text the next day, no answer. Call in two days and finally she answered the phone and says Kinda loudly stop contacting me or I am calling the police. I could just see her on a date playing the stalker victim again. I matched this girl on Tinder during lockdown. Surprisingly, she asked me to come over, so I went to her place. She was already a bit drunk, and we started hooking up, and she decided she wants to take drugs. I only had K with me, so she takes her dose and we continue. Soon I realized she's fallen asleep. I took her arm away from me, and she turns around and starts puking on me. After I try to control the situation, I lead her to the bathroom, but she can barely walk. So after 10 minutes I go to the kitchen to wash myself and come back to the room. The bed is full of vomit and so is the carpet and my bra. I steal a grocery bag to put my bra inside. She comes from the bathroom and just lays down on the bed with the vomit. I went to a movie I'd wanted to see with a guy I matched with on a dating app. When I greeted him in front of the theater, he didn't say hi back. He meowed. Like a cat. He wouldn't make eye contact either. I tried to make conversation as we walked to the right screen, but he just kept meowing and pointedly looking away from me. When we got inside, we found seats, and he continued to meow. After the movie, I the meowing resumed. Still no eye contact either. Maybe he was trying to be quirky and endearing? But who does that? Who meows through a first date? We went to sushi and he just had to go back to his place before drinks. 
turned out we had to go back to his place because he was afraid of public restrooms. I sat alone in his living room listening to him straining while trying to poop. He then realized he was out of toilet paper and texted me to grab him a roll from upstairs. Let's not even get into the smell. Literally the shittiest date ever. It's 2009. I connect with a guy on plenty of fish. He picks me up at my house. We head to an ice cream shop. He has just come back from army basic training and the topic of conversation will only be about what physical stuff he has learned how to do there. I try to change the topic to literally anything other than how fast he can climb something and hand-to-hand -hand fighting tactics, but to no avail. We exit the ice cream shop. He puts me in a headlock. The patrons inside silently watch me flail about, trying to escape. He releases me from the headlock explains how I should have escaped his hold. We head to the movies. We sit down in an empty theater. He cranes his neck, thinks he hears something. Leaves to go check it out. Ten minutes go by. I hear something on the floor to my left. He's army crawling toward me on his stomach about to grab my ankles and scare me. We finish the movie and leave. Never to see each other again. I met a man on OkCupid. He was 36 years old, a 92% match, ESTP, drama-free, looking to find someone intelligent, down-to-earth, and can keep up with, his, depraved sense of humor. He went on to say that he was at a tech startup and on the weekends he was on a quest to find new and fun activities. He had a gorgeous dog and he didn't eat kale. Oh, and he was really good at treating you like a princess. We instantly connected, texted incessantly, and became Snapchat friends. We had plans for Monday, and it couldn't come soon enough. But since I Google my dates first, I did a quick search, and I found him. Wig-wearing bank robber finally caught. There he was in all his glory. This uber cute guy I had a date with in two days had allegedly robbed a bank less than a year ago. I then found his wedding website declaring he was supposed to be married in October 2015, but was arrested the day before. He went to jail until February of 2016 and his return to social media showed he was happy to be back with his dog. When I asked for more details, he admitted that his fiancé left him when he came clean about robbing a bank and he was just trying to live a normal life before his trial. When I snapchatted his own headline to him with WTF on it, his first question was, how did you find my last name? I told him he didn't need to worry about that. His second question was, so I guess our date is off? Yep, genius, our date is off. This guy I met at a bar took me to a Chinese place for dinner. We ordered a bunch of different things and shared it all. My face started to get really red and I broke out in hives. By the time we got to the car, I was struggling to breathe and I asked him to take me home. Well, I went into full-blown anaphylactic shock and stopped breathing in the car. Apparently, I was allergic to almonds and didn't know it, and we ordered almond chicken. He had enough sense to take me to the ER. I woke up a few hours later to him sitting in the corner of the room looking horrified and apologizing profusely because during all the commotion they ripped off my shirt and bra and he saw my boobs. Once my roommates got there, he bolted never to be heard from again. I met up with this girl. We went to a bar for some drinks. We seemed to be really hitting it off. Then her boyfriend turns up. It turns out he wants to have a MFF threesome, and they had a Tinder account for her in order to find someone. When I got annoyed by this, they both suddenly got really aggressive and pissy. They followed me out of the bar and tried to get into a taxi with me. It was the first official date after my divorce. I had messaged back and forth with this guy Chris for a while. He seemed nice. He told me he really liked good food and beer like I did. Had a decent sense of humor, didn't sound like a serial killer when we talked on the phone. So he asked me to meet him and just gave me an address to his favorite place. I should have looked up what was at the address but I thought, what the hell. It was Applebee's. He shows up late and didn't really resemble his pictures exactly. 
he kept touching me with his cold damp hands and went on and on about how much he was making an hour at his job while he was drinking a Miller Lite. An older couple across the bar kept sending me Sun King beers when he'd get up to use the restroom because he was so nervous. I thought about leaving because it was so awkward. But then he told me he lived in an apartment building with a group of elderly women one did his laundry and he'd pay her back by giving her massages. I almost lost it. But I was saved by my daughter calling me. I told him I had to go. He said he'd like to see me again, I said I didn't think so. He said okay and insisted on walking me to the car. I thanked him for the interesting evening and he went in for a kiss and I about ran away to get in my car.